Alrighty, what is going on everybody? My name is Blitzware, and of course, welcome back to another episode of the LEGO Batman video game. And of course, today we're going to be taking on our second post-game exclusive level, which is of course, uh, these levels are unlocked only once you've uh, collected all the mini kits uh, for both villains and heroes. So in the last time we took a look at the Wayne Manor. So today, we're going to take a look at the villains special mission. So that should be pretty gosh darn fun indeed but without further ado let's get a rolling and by the way thank you guys so much for the amazing support on the first episode so let's get rolling so one thing why i wanted to point out a lot of people can't even find the actual uh, location and i'll be honest i am one of those people it took me a while to actually find the location the first time i played the game uh, but it's actually instead of going down through here you actually have to walk all the way up here and then the door will open up up there to reveal all the different mini kits that you recovered during your villains missions which is pretty gosh darn cool indeed so you can see all of those. We'll do a spotlight probably on the next episode, so that should be pretty fun. Uh, but after that, all you have to do is climb up here and you will be transported. Not transported. Uh, what is a transport? No. A transported into Arkham Asylum. Into your bonus mission, which is pretty gosh darn cool indeed. So let's get rolling, shall we? In the LEGO universe, anything is possible. A criminal mastermind has left one million studs lying around Arkham Asylum. For some other lucky criminal to find. Collect them all before someone else does. Alright, so let's hope we will be that uh, lucky criminal, shall we? Alrighty, so right off the bat, let's do a little bit of smashing and bashing. As you can see, the villain's mission is different right away because in one primary way. Uh, unlike with the um, hero's missions where you had to um, collect only purple studs, here you collect... All kinds of studs, so you will collect some silver ones, some gold ones, blue studs, just a whole plethora and variety of studs indeed. So right here, what you're going to need to do is punch each one, I think four or five times, I think it is. And then you're going to get rewarded with two purple studs, which is pretty gosh darn cool. Uh, this one right here, I believe you needed to run on this, no? From what I remember. Yep, there we go. Fantastic. Now, right up here, let's, well actually... Let's not do that, because we need to come up here first. And we're going to recover that purple stud. And again, as you can see, obviously your uh, stud multipliers and things like that do not work on these levels. So you have to literally collect one million studs, which is definitely not an easy task. But the quicker you do it, the more you can challenge your friends and say, hey, how'd you do? Did you do better, worse, etc. So then right here, we've got this uh, goal mission, which um, I just like to put the goal as far away as possible and then... All you have to do is just run the ball in, and each time that you run it in, you have to recover, uh, sorry, recover, <laughs> you have to recover it, no, you have to recover it back to the center uh, of the field, just like in a typical soccer game, right, or football, for those of us that actually call it by its proper name. Uh, once you've done that, the button will go green, and you could score again, you will get yourself another stud, and you have to repeat this, of course, if you want to get uh, all the purple studs possible, or a good amount of them. Because, again, purple studs obviously will get you closer to your target quicker. Okay. Now, the one thing that is a little different with the villain's mission, from what I remember, is that there is actually over a million studs here. So, uh, therefore, you don't have to do everything that I'm showing you. But I, I found that this is a pretty quick and efficient way of uh, gathering those uh, that particular amount of studs. So, we're going to come back to the center. And I think... It's either now or one more after this is the last time. I think it's either five goals that you can score. By the way, I don't know why we get ten points per goal. I'm not sure what kind of soccer they are playing. Come on. Nope. Go over here. Sorry about that, guys. I just had a big attack of sneezes. And now there's a motorcycle going outside my window. That's fantastic. God, I can't wait till I move to a much far less busy street. I cannot wait for that. That is going to be awesome. Whoa, okay, that was pretty glitchy. So this time we didn't even get a stud, so I think it might be that three is the limit. Let me just try one more time, just in case. Maybe I messed something up, because that's uh, absolutely possible. So let's try again. Okay, well, the score continues to grow, but uh, unfortunately for us, the uh, uh, actual uh, studs don't appear, so our score... Uh, our score doesn't grow, the score on the board does. So we're going to come back here, recover some extra studs right over here, and uh, that is pretty much all we need to do here. So now we can uh, go into this next door of Arkham Asylum. Once you've done that, uh, you're going to be given access to uh, a lot of studs, so you're going to 
right along. Collect all that, or at least attempt to do so. And obviously, do not miss out on the purple studs, because those are the most valuable, for God's sake. There you go. So we're going to recover quite a few of them right off the bat right here. Which is fan flipping tastic. Can't uh, blow up these, because of course you need uh, a character that could, uh, like, penguin or something. So we will switch to penguin in a moment uh, to recover that. But for now, we'll just uh, ride around on our police motorcycle, or motorbike, whatever you want to call it. And uh, collect some of the extra studs laying around all over the place and smash some of these trash cans, etc. Uh, for easy collection. So once you get to a certain point, you're going to have to obviously switch out into a different character. Sorry, switch off your vehicle because you can't carry on anymore. So these guys are very, very annoying. So let me try to get past them here. Try to beat them up. Okay, smash all that junk up. Get ourselves some extra studs. Now, let's see. Right here, use the Batgirl demolition suit. Boom! That's nice. That's a good amount of studs right there. And we're already over half a million, which is pretty gosh darn awesome. So that's good stuff indeed. Okay, now, from what I remember, these guys, they're invincible or something. Or maybe it was that... Maybe you needed to use a villain to take them down? No. I think they're invincible, and the only way you could take them down, from what I remember, is actually with this uh, plant that we're going to see in just a moment. Hey, get away from me, jerks. Um, let me get a double jumping character. Okay, there we go. There's Ivy. So that's nice. Recovered some points right there. Gonna run through here. Grab all this stuff on this side. And another thing to blow up for Penguin, actually. So might as well set him loose on this. Get away from me, jerks. I didn't attack you. No, stop attacking them, Penguin. Stop giving them attention. Just smash the boxes. The trash cans, sorry. There certainly is a lot of trash cans around Arkham Asylum. I guess it's because um, one of the smallest petty crimes you could do is probably just make a giant mess everywhere. Alrighty, so now let's hop into this vehicle. And as you can see, every time you pop, uh, pop, every time you hop into a vehicle, there's a little root of studs that appears. So that is a very, very good way of getting a lot of studs right off the bat. And it's a fantastic way uh, to get your score up very, very, very quickly. Alright, that's awesome. Look at that. We're already over three quarters of the way done. So that's good stuff. Indeed. Now, let me come back around over here. Is there anything that I missed? Nope. Okay. So, let's get Penguin out. Blow up some of these crystals here. Because that's a lot of good studs right there. That's fantastic. A couple more right over here. Good stuff. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, um, I don't remember if I don't remember if this will be necessary. I mean, I guess I could collect all this stuff, but I don't think it was necessary to have it all. Um, now right here. Hey, stop being so pushy. Stop being so pushy. Oh my goodness, these guys. These guys. Hey, hey, stop it. Oh my god, okay. You know what? Let's just hop into this. This will save us a ton of time. And you see, now they run away. because. And this kind of reminds me a little bit of Pac-Man, for some odd reason. Okay, hop in here. Finish that lane. There we go. Okay, that's good stuff right there. Couple of extra studs. Oh yeah, I should smash those trash cans. How could I forget about all that? Let's go ahead and get that done. There we go. That's nice. And now we only need 50,000 more points to get to our next uh, location. So, come on. Get over here. No, what are, you, what are you doing? What you doing? Okay, there we go. Hoppity into here. Gonna grab all those extra studs, and there you have it. So as you can see, there's still plenty of studs left over. There's still one machinery that we didn't even use. So as I said, the villain's mission is a little bit easier in terms... Of, not a little bit, far easier, I would say, uh, than the Wayne Manor mission. Because in Wayne Manor, there's literally one million studs. So if you miss one, you have to go locate it. And it's a much more uh, kind of pain-in-the-butt situation than it is with this particular mission. But that being said, if you guys enjoyed this episode, give it a like rating right below the video. And of course, tune in to the final episode of LEGO Batman, where I will showcase 
all the characters. I will showcase all the mini kits, which should be really fun as well. So tune into that episode just because you guys asked me to show all those in detail. So we will definitely do so. So I hope you guys enjoyed our adventure so far in Lego Batman. Have a fanfully fantastic day. I'll catch you guys next time. And peace out. And uh, yay. See you later, guys. Have a great day. Oh yeah, don't forget to share the videos and favorite the videos as well. Peace out, guys.